Okay, now we need to sand on it a little bit and get the, uh, the basic shape correct. So we'll do that, some of that on the belt sander here. Okay, we're going to have to go over to the other belt sander to get it a little better. Okay, now we just got to do some hand sanding. Basically, we're just sanding the mold lines off. You'll remember, right, I put, uh, you remember back I put a layer of glass on here. That way we can sand out the pattern from the mold and not actually sand into the carbon fiber itself. Now at this point, only about this much of the leg is actually going to be showing. We're actually going to add more material up in this area here to get it more scale looking. So, I got a bunch more sanding to do. We'll do that and we'll be back for the next step. Alright, we're back. I'd intended on showing the next step in the uh, making of the landing gear here. Unfortunately, I screwed up. Uh, you gotta be careful when you're sanding your landing gear not to actually sand through the carbon fiber into the and, and, and make a big gaping hole in it, which I did. So I decided this would be a good opportunity to show you how to uh, repair your mess ups. So what I'm going to do, I've already done this leg here, is I took and wrapped a bi-directional carbon fiber, cut on the bias so that the strands run at 45 degrees to the, to the uh, long axis of the landing gear. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cover the other leg here. Just so happens on the back side, I sanded through on both of them. So let's do that now. So the first thing we do is, need to do is mix up some resin after we've cut out our stuff. I also have a thin piece of plastic on my table here. Actually, it's, it's kind of slightly stretchy plastic. That's the best uh, kind of plastic for doing this 
type of repair. So let's mix up our epoxy here. I'm using a different epoxy than I did before. This is a faster curing epoxy, so it won't take all day to cure. And we'll put some on here. Now, as we did before when we were doing our layup, we're going to get this wet out really good. So anyway, we get this wet out really good. Let me take our landing gear leg. We actually want to wet it with epoxy too, or we're going to apply the patch. Get it all wet out really good. Okay, got that all covered with resin. Now I need some scissors here. Set that aside. Cut my piece of plastic with my patches on. I want to leave it about an inch oversized. Now we take our patch, make sure it's in firm contact with it, all the way around. Pull it tight. I'm going to take a couple of, I just cut some popsicle sticks here. Stick one in front, one behind it here. Get them nice and close. Luckily, our landing gear comes to a fairly sharp point in the back here. And we're just going to take a couple of spring clamps stick on here to hold it while it cures. One there. Clamp right there. Put another one in the middle. There we go. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Now we'll wait for it to cure. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're back with our uh, our patches now cured. Take the popsicle sticks off here. Then we can peel off the plastic. See? Oh yeah, there it goes. Looks like it came out pretty good. Now we just take a razor blade, trim this, trim this excess off. There we go. 
I want we'll to clean that up a little bit. Now we're all patched up. The next thing we got to do, there's some extra material we have on here. I'm going to cut that off and shape the end here. We've got an axle that we want to bolt through here for our wheels. And I'm going to shape the tab that that bolts onto. Then we're going to use this extra material to build up the thickness of this, uh, this end, end piece here. So we'll do that next. As you can see here, I've mounted my landing gear to a block so it's a little easier to work on. It doesn't just basically to hold it temporarily, I just hot glue it, it, glued it to this wood block. Now normally on one of these landing gears, a normal use, the place they'll break if they're going to is right at the junction where this, where this tab that holds the axle uh, breaks right here. Normally it breaks right in there. So what I'm going to do now is build up a little material on here in this joint so that it'll be stronger. Now you notice I've, I've already taken the piece that I cut off of here and I glued it to this face and then I took a piece of eighth inch plywood and glued it in the back to give me a little extra thickness. This will give me a little extra width here for when I lay this material in here it'll give it a lot more strength. And when we get done it'll look like this side that I just did. In fact, this isn't cleaned up or, or cured yet. I mainly wanted to do it to make sure that my wheels would clear. I'm putting big bush wheels on this because I, uh, my runway is the street down the road from my house and it has big cracks in it. So the normal two inch wheels that they run, we run on these, like this one here, tend to fall in the cracks. I could run either one though. goes on there just fine too. Beautiful. But anyway, these big wheels will allow me to have less problems with the cracks in the street. But anyway, I mainly wanted to make sure it cleared on the back side, and it does. So we're good to go. It's real close though. So now let's get started in the uh, Put some more material on this side here. The so first thing I'm going to do is I've taken some unidirectional carbon fiber. I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, super glue. And I'm basically going to put a little bit of super glue on the end of this. take a popsicle stick and basically just stick it down mainly so I don't get super glue all over my hands. Get that stuck on there like that. Now I'm basically just going to wrap this. Whoops, got some super glue on my fingers. So come in here. Kind of try and keep it nice and flat. There we go. Okay. Put a little more super glue on here. material on the back side here where the nuts gonna crush up against it okay now I'm gonna just mix up some standard five minute epoxy I might want to thin this epoxy a little bit so I'm gonna use a little bit of denatured alcohol to thin it 
That way it will soak into this carbon fiber really good. Okay. Pulling on here. Sure, it's all soaked in there. Okay. Also need to build up a little bit on the back here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in. Need a couple pieces of that. This is a bi-directional uh, be enough Let's see if I got any more glue here now take a couple pieces of basically just packing tape that I doubled over stick on here one on the other side this will help get the air out flat on both sides there now we'll let that cure <laughs>